Hi everyone. Good afternoon. I hope you all are doing good. How are you? So first of all, I wish you the World Health Day today and the Good Friday as well, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Right. So guys, let's not delay much. Let's start the uh, very much awaited workshop. And you won't believe that we have planned it day for, uh, you know, yesterday only three days back, actually. And in three days, we got around 700 registrations for this webinar. Webinar on Jotero. Jotero, uh, referencing by Jotero. Okay, that's the hands-on training. So before that, before we go to the webinar, <clears throat> uh, I would announce two things here. One is that we are starting this short course on biostatistics and data analytics through SPSS. This is just a two days course. And, uh, you know, I'll be taking the uh, entire syllabus of, uh, you know, whatever is written here by statistics and data analytics, the complete hands-on training. So first one or two hours, we will be, you know, uh, learning the theory about biostatistics and then we will be completely working on SPSS and we'll be talking about the complete data entry, importing the data, data computing, recording, descriptive statistics, comparing means and, you know, paired sample t-test, independent sample t-test, whatever is required for a researcher, whatever is required for the institutional research, I'll be talking all tomorrow, right? And I'm very glad to say, guys, very glad to say that there are already, there are already 100 plus admissions. We restricted the admissions to the 50 uh, seats only, but, uh, you know, later people have, uh, you know, requested and we have extended the seats to 100, but right now there are 100 plus admissions. And if you are interested, because uh, we have all the resources, if you are interested, you can just still register. And this course is for two days. So timings will be tomorrow from 6 to 8, uh, 6 to 9 p.m. tomorrow in the evening. So at your convenient hours in Saturday. And then on Sunday, the class will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Right. So total eight to uh, seven to eight hours class will be there. And uh, uh, then after that, you will be having a little test and then you will get a certificate and you will be learning a lot about the biostatistics and uh you know, uh, your SPSS and data analytics. And other than that, second announcement is, uh, you know, again, very important because uh, we are coming up with one of the, uh, you know, best of the conferences uh, in, uh, you know, I mean, in the next week only. This is in the next week only. And that is MCPCon. So I hope you all are aware of MCPCon. So, uh, you know, previously already 100 plus uh, abstracts have been submitted to this conference. But, uh, you know, later uh, with a lot of requests and all, we have extended the dates for abstract submissions as well. And the final date of abstract submission is 11th April. Okay. And the conference is on 15th and 16th. That is virtual on Saturday, Sunday, third Saturday and uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, right. It is a virtual conference and you can see our entire browser. Uh, see all the resource persons are from top, top industry and top academics. See, uh, all our resource persons. I, I hope you all are aware of that. So, you know, we have people from GSK, Sanofi, Sino, Serum Institute of India, NIPERS, JSS Med Research, and, uh, you know, other top notch institutions. And there are two days, 13 talks, and 38 eminent speakers and panelists, two, uh, two debate sessions, sessions, and then two special keynote sessions and one industry session, right? And uh, for the abstract presenters, winners, there are multiple cash rewards and multiple value-added courses. So as I told, already 100 plus abstracts are submitted. Right, guys? So uh, these are two announcements for you. Uh, if you want to submit for SPSS course for tomorrow, you can. Uh, and I invite all of you to participate in our upcoming conference, MCPCon, as well. Right? So uh, now let me come to today's topic. Today's topic is very important. You know, guys, when I was doing my PhD, I was, uh, you know, not uh, very much aware of, uh, you know, referencing part when I used to write the papers, when I used to write the thesis, uh, you know, I was not aware of the referencing, how to do the referencing properly. Okay. So referencing is uh, always a challenge uh, and it was always a challenge for me as well. And it is a challenge for all the researchers. So, uh, you know, referencing is not only for the PhD researchers or the academicians. You know, always when you start the research, either you are in your M farms, either you are in your masters, any kind of masters, or you are in, uh, you know, PharmD, uh, you know, in fifth year only, you have to write the thesis. So when you have like one or two or 10 references, you can do it manually. 
But when you have 50, 100, 200 references, you cannot do it manually, right? First of all, you have to, uh, you know, adjust all the references in a given style, like that is APA or AMA or, uh, you know, Howard style or Vancouver style. You have to do in that. And then you have to set the citations in the text. That is very important, right? So when we struggle in such situations uh, to look after that only, uh, you know, we plan this, uh, you know, workshop. We plan this free webinar for all of you, referencing with Jotero, where we will be, you know, uh, talking about the introduction of Jotero research tool it is and the complete hands-on training uh, will be done by our mentor and uh, you know she'll be talking about the references collections and management she'll be also talking about the citation preparations and uh, how to edit the citations and how to create the bibliography right so uh, that will be 100 percent 100 percent hands-on training so first she will tell you about the uh, uh, you know about the Jotero about the software and then she'll be taking you through the Zotero software itself Right, so with that, I would like to introduce our today's speaker, guys. Uh, today's speaker is uh, Ms. Pooja. She is, uh, uh, you know, master's from, uh, you know, uh, biological sciences, and then she is pursuing her PhD uh, in gastroenterology from Kasturba Medical College, Manipal. Okay, she is in the final year right now, so she will be taking you through the Jotero, and uh, you know, she has taken multiple sessions on Jotero and uh, you know other things as well. So well, she's one of the expert of Jotero and other referencing tools. So uh, she'll be taking you through all these, uh, you know, part of referencing. So over to you, uh, Ms. Pooja. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I thank Klimid and Dr. Ajit Singh for this opportunity. So as I told, uh, my name is Pooja and I'm here to introduce you guys over this software that is Zotero, a reference management tool. I'm going to share my screen. Yes, please. Go for it. Okay. So it's visible, right? Yes, yes. Puja, and yes, my voice is. is audible. Perfect. Perfectly fine. Please go ahead. Okay. Thank you. So Zotero, a reference management tool. This is an overview of the talk that I'm going to do for next one hour. So here I am going to overlook on the different software op op uh, options. I am going to briefly explain the introduction to Zotero. I'm going to tell you how to download and create an extension of this app and uh, create a Zotero library and formatting citations in MS Word followed by bibliographic generations. So anything to come up to the field, there should be some problems. Like Sir, uh, Sir just mentioned, when you have 10 to 20 references, it's easy to cite them manually. But citing references for uh, citing articles, like for uh, 100, 200 articles, it is, it is very challenging and it, is, it requires a lot of extensive labor work. So these are some of the main problems that led to the introduction of these softwares, which made our work easier reference ent uh, entry manually is a great challenge messed up organization mess up of the organization what happens is if let me say if you're working on a two projects and you just go on collecting all the articles of the two projects at the end of this after end of the collections it will be very difficult for you to cite a particular article for a particular project so the zotero or any reference management tool make it easier. Citation style. What happens? A particular general a journal asks for a particular citation style. So this reference management tool helps you to publish in a particular style. Okay. So now software options. There are various softwares that helps in reference management. There are some free softwares that, uh, that I'm going to do today that is Zotero and there is another software called as Mendeley and there are other set of subscribed uh, softwares called as Reference Manager and Note Pro Sites. So now here, every reference management tool does the same work. It is like a browser. Either you browse it to a Chrome or a Safari or a Firefox. The work done is similar, but Zotero and Mendeley is a free software 
and uh, when you compare zotero and mendeley as per my experience zotero is a simple tool which you can work easily when you uh, and mendeley is also a same kind of tool which has a much more uh, you know space it can have a lot storage when compared to zotero maybe another time we can have a whole new session on mendeley as well so zotero as i told it is in software it is a reference management tool which collect and manage references it is a free tool it organizes in a specific format it creates bibliographic in word or in any open office and it will save in a web page or a full text pdf format so let's see the zotero in action so what happens you can see this i will be doing hands on you can see the demo so i just thought i will just uh, show the overlook of it so once you go to the chrome you can type zotero so once you type the Z zotero this particular view comes up okay so you can see the download you can click on download when that download when you press on the download there are two option comes up one is zotero app which gets saved in your hard drive and a connector which is a bridge between the research you are finding in the internet and a, in your uh, zotero applications the article that you find in the internet will be saved to your zotero app using this connector using the zotero connector so what happens you can download the app so once you download the app it will come on your main windows screen in this way so this is a icon for zotero so once you're done downloading the app when you open it this particular view comes up so this you can see this is my screen okay because i am working in lot of projects and these are all the articles that i have saved up so basically in this session we are going to create a library the library present we will work on some of the topics and i will see the i will show you the demo how it works the three basic things you have to know to add a reference okay so reference can be added manually See, using this uh, particular icon, you can just add it manually, or you can add using an identifier like DOI. Every article or every published scientific uh, proposal or an article or a letter to an editor, everything will have a particular DOI. So you can add references based on identifier, or you can add. based on zotero connector now let's see the working of zotero in real time so one second you can open the new tab you can download along with me just type zotero press enter so you can see zotero on the screen just try to download it you can just download the app please download if you want to work along with me as i explain so once you are downloaded since i have already downloaded i'm just going to say you guys and simultaneously you can install the chrome connector as well just install the chrome connector so the extension comes here see since i have already saved it it shows remove so i will just remove and i show i will show you how to add it add to chrome add extension okay so the extension is created here see it automatically comes up in your extension in your chrome extension okay now since you want to use it since it's a favorable icon and you want to use it now and then go to your ex extension option just pin that so that it is easy to access so once you're done this we i will take you through the app 
so as soon as you open the zotero this particular wheels comes up okay so here you have all this features that's going to help you guide you throughout the process so the main thing that you have to do here is go to edit change the preference so this is a basic thing that i recommend so here what you guys have to do is check at the general so everything will be ticked up whether you need a child note tags automatically retrieve metadata from pdfs so everything will be ticked sync option so there is a sync option so what you have to do here is i have already i have an account here already okay so you guys will not have an account so i recommend creating a free account if you don't have it because what happens is this will allow you to sync your citations and any attachment onto your drive so what happens if you lose any thing from your system this will be there okay it means it, there will be a backup in case okay as well as like say it sometimes uh, you go to work on your library like you go to work or uh, you work in your library desktop so you will not have this citation or you will not have this set of references so what you saved in zotero so setting up an account what it does is you can just download in your library desktop and then you can add your account so that whatever you saved will be synced sync automatically you have ticked to the sync automatically option so it will automatically pop up when you download so this is a basic feature i recommend as soon as you install and as as soon as you go for zotero next the another thing is site so as there is a main main important thing is site and site site style manager so there are wide variety of styles okay there will be elsevier there will be hardwood there will be nature vancouver so each journal will have its own style if you want any particular journal you can take a particular style if you see here there are by default there are certain style so if you don't have that you can download it as well see get additional style you can search for any additional style if you want if you are writing a a article on some cancer we can just type cancer the particular gen, journal name so that will come up here you can see 3d research so these all are the journal okay wait for some time it's just loading so you want to uh, submit your next uh, article in bmc cancer you can just click on it okay see the bmc cancer pops up so you don't have to edit at all it automatically does all you have to do is select the style what you want in how you want to cite your references okay for now we will keep it vancouver and then okay so you have done all the pre steps that is required to cite an article and then create your bibliography okay so once all this is done you have to create a new folder for your particular project okay so now here you can see this particular icon new collection so i prefer you see this is a library so your library will have all your articles okay but you have to work on a particular project now so press on the icon so for now let me see you are working something on press cancer so i have to enter the name press okay so you got your project so breast cancer is a collections now you start to start collecting okay now your project title is breast cancer now what you do you go to pubmed you go to pubmed and search various articles for your convenience okay so you like certain one second okay okay
selected. So you know now you got a particular article so that you want to refer. Now you studied a clinical diagnosis and management of breast cancer. Now you take a particular sentence, okay, or a particular line. You you were reading this article. One second, I'll just maximize it. Okay, so here you see. Okay, as soon as I Okay, perfect. So now what happened? You will take a certain sentences from this or you feel like, okay, you're writing an article on breast cancer right now. So you wrote breast cancer is generally diagnosed through screening or symptoms. So you want to take a little sentence of it. So now you took a particular sentence from this and then have to work in your word. So I have already copied some of the sentences. So this particular sentences I've taken from one of the article here. Okay, so this is clinical diagnosis and management of uh, breast cancer, as well as I want to know the prevalence and right now what is the number of, uh, you know, uh, cancer, breast cancer. So in 2020, there were 2.3 million women diagnosed with uh, breast cancers. So I thought this will be an uh, uh, you know, apt sentence for my introduction of any of the work I do. It might not, might not be on a biological science or clinical science. It might be on anything you're working on. Okay. So these are the articles or a, uh, you know, references that you took. Now, what you do usually, you just try to download it and then save it in your, in your drive or in your uh, computer or in your desktop, okay? But in Zotero, what you have to do is, you have to go here, so this is a Zotero option and you have to click on it. Okay, so it just go to breast cancer and then done. And you can come and see here. See, it has saved. As I told previously, references you can add in a different way. You can add manually, see, journal article. Here, nothing comes up. You have to just add manually, like any article name cancer or anything you have to do it manually okay or here there is an option enter using a dois so every article i i mentioned previously right every article will have dois so you have to copy the doi take any article of your interest take the doi go to zotero so this particular icon see your here, here you can see the magic wand uh, icon Press on that, paste your DOI and press enter. See, it has automatically brought that particular see, global increase in breast cancer incidence, risk factors and preventive measures. So all you have to do is just copy the DOI and paste it on your Zotero. And the simple method, what I just did right now is using your Zotero connector. Open that particular article, click on this. So click on the Zotero here. So it will just copy. So if you have to copy some other article, again, all you have to do is just click on it. It will automatically copy. So now here you can see this is a World Health Organization report. So here also I will go to it and I see some of the important lines that I'm going to take for my study and I will save. Okay, now come back to Zotero. One second. You can just add next document. You can just add, just click on it. See that time it did not get copied. Best cancer done. Next article here. 
Okay. So once you're done with that, all the articles comes up. Okay. Can just see World Health Organization and breast cancer. I just want some information about breast cancer in from World Health Organization. So here you can see you can just copy. It will go to the breast cancer and then done. It will be automatically saved. You can come back. You can just check. Okay, see that time it did not get saved. Now it is saved. Okay, so once this is done, once you save all your article of your choice, here you can see I can, you know, some problem. Okay, I can save some other articles as well. So if this is your choice, you can just click on this option, save to Zotero, it will be saved. No need to again follow this, this particular step. As soon as you click, it will just get saved automatically. Breast cancer in young woman, if you are reading that article. So any article, if you read, all you can do is just click on this option. It will automatically get saved. See now, every articles, whatever you have clicked on your extension, in a Chrome extension, automatically get saved. Next, you come to this option that is duplicate items. Since when you were clicking, you might have clicked it twice or you might have, you know, uh, what happens when you write thesis, it is a long process, right? You might, you know, come up for the same articles two times. So you unintentionally or unknowingly, you get, you just choose it and you just save it in Zotero. So what happens then you might say, uh, cite the same articles twice. So which will again lead to some kind of error. But when you have a reference management tool, it will recognize, it will recognize every single thing. So any article that is, ex, no, it has come more than once, it will be showing here. So duplicate items. So what you have to do, you can see. So the first article, the second article, but first article here, there is uh, issue number, supplement one page, date, and here there are no particular information. So I will choose the, best one and i will ask for the merge so it will be merged so you can see now only one article of a particular type is present okay or you this is how you do the reference management or you can just bring a particular document here you can just copy paste from uh, some uh, wherever if you have saved in your or any kind of drive, all you can do is drag and get it here. Okay. You just drag the particular file with the name Nimhams, but see, it will analyze and it will see the author's name, the type, everything. Okay. So this is a reference library creation. So you have created a library for the work that you are doing right now. So this is a very few articles, but if you're working for your thesis or if you're working uh, for any projects or uh, details of any model you're going to set up. So you will have a lot of articles. You have, will have a lot of books. So everything you can save. Okay. Again, you can see if there is any duplicate, you can merge that. So once you guys have done this, you can go to your word. So this particular sentence, now breast cancer, the first sentence. So that might have, you know, okay. Firstly, when you open the word, since you have downloaded and created the extension, Zotero will be automatically be there, okay? Zotero will be here. So what you have to do? So this is a particular article. And the first line of this sentence you took from a particular 
journal a particular article okay so go add or edit citation so add so here come to the drop down classic view so this you might have taken from this particular type breast cancer and this this particular article okay then click on that and press okay so you can see here the first one is done next this this particular thing that i took from the report from the world health organization okay so here what you do at the end of the sentence before the full stop you can add the citation okay go to the left corner press on add or edit citation come to the drop down press classic view and select so this one is the world health organization thing see world health organization doesn't have any author so it will come like a snapshot okay all right so once you are done this so next here i will take some other okay so some other so this is happened so now i will show something this is the first sentence so if you are writing something reading some article and which you have already saved in zotero you can just all you can do is add citation come to the drop down classic view then you can just okay this is how the citation works in microsoft word so you can add so this is how you will do continuously in your while you are writing any any of your article your proposal your thesis or any information next the important step is creation of bibliography now what happens once you are done this now we have to add a reference a total reference now add bibliography what you have to do is uh, see check your doc a document preferences again it will ask again you can change your citation style you can change it to hard word you can change it to nature anything as you recommend okay or you can manage style and look for the new style if you are uh, putting for a particular journal and they ask any style you can just select what you want so if it is a van let's for now we will just keep it van cover because it is a still majority of the journal that will ask so we will click on van cover and press okay so once again we have cross checked it and now after references we can add bibliography see you can see this how beautifully it just automatically it created the list of the bibliography now what happened okay now i was writing and then in between i thought i was reading some other you know paper and i thought okay this particular sentence uh, gives me a more info about the particular subject so now what i will do so i have just added that sentence so it is a report from a globocan or uh, you know and this one i have taken from this journal so that is again we can just save okay global increase in uh cancer or you know this have uh, then what you can do again press add citation since i uh, you know i have previously cited that global increase i will cite some other journal because to know what happens if you put another so i will just put some other article so now what happened see it will come here the update okay now i just cited this particular article for my particular sentence now think if you don't have this reference management tool if you had to add something in between you had to literally write something and then you had to change the number along with changing the number here you had to change literally every particular number but the beauty of the software is once you change this to 3 this automatically became 4 right so this is how useful this particular reference management tool is it just automatically does everything you read all the articles that you are working on every particular articles go to your projects that you are working on in ms word or in office then you just cite it and then add the bibliography it will 
produce a bibliography of their own okay now let's see some other features that is present in this zotero okay the some other things that zotero does is see here you can also prepare you know create a new group so just see here you can create a group okay now for example it is your farmd thesis okay and a farmd or your if any biological or basic science it is your msc thesis and it is divided among three of you or you you three people are combinedly writing one particular project or one particular review article so what you people can do okay it is maybe on um, uh, hydraulic pump okay so hydraulic pump so you have to create a group so it will be a private group okay so you have to save settings okay now what you have to do is see the members see this is a member because i have created this i am the owner now what you can do is send more invitations now you can add any email id uh, you can add uh, you know for example if it is for climate i can add the email id of climate or your particular email id and give invite so it will go to everybody what happens you all will have a same set of references you know or else think of this doing this manually a uh, one person will be doing and adding citation another person will be doing something else the third person will be doing something else and when you combine it is a lot of work okay but here what happens since you guys are working from the same reference management thing you people are saving all your work and all this work will be accessible for all the three of you or the group of member who will be there in this present group so this is again one of the benefit of this particular app you can create any number of projects you are working on and then add the citations of that particular work so this is a brief about zotero so you can ask any question or you can ask me anything uh, regarding this if you didn't follow any of the steps i am uh, very happy to repeat it okay uh, so okay so but in group word document is different yes in group word document will be different of course but if you are working in a a drive in a drive word then this will not be a problem but again your all the references will be same see when you guys prepare to do any thesis you people might be looking to different articles right and you will have a, you you for example a, a person a might have x y z set of articles and a person b might have uh, x plus j k set of articles but here everything will be saved in a particular place okay and sim yes it is very similar to mendeley but uh, i prefer this because it is very easy to uh, use okay so you want me to repeat the bibliography you no know? yes i can repeat that so it is a very simple step here you can see so once you are finishing citation once you have see you can just add okay you can add any article okay you can okay one second okay uh, to be easier i will open one more project and i will write see okay my name is pooja okay a simple sentence just for your references and you can see here zotero and i will cite it so vancouver so somebody asked uh, for the thesis the thesis usually 
uh, you know most of the places they use vancouver so vancouver done so add citations so i will take one of the previous work i was working on so i will tell so i am a research scholar so again i will take some other article okay so this and the references just click on add bibliography so you can see it automatically comes up okay once again i will just see some of the other question okay how you have to reference any images that we source from the web open that image particular image and press on the zotero see here the world once again the world health organization thing it is not an article so it will be again saved as a snapshot means a particular shot of this particular screen okay this is how you save so if this picture it will come automatically this is how you save Okay. Yes, the same style is followed in a uh, Mendeley. Uh, I have a question. Okay, so about the storage. Uh, definitely, it is more than three fifty articles. Uh, I do. Uh, you know, there is no exact number. Maybe some. You know, there is a. Uh. Uh, Pooja, I think you have to open your mic, and I have opened the mic for all. If you want to talk, you can talk to uh, Miss Pooja, and you can ask your questions directly. Pooja, I think you have to open your mic. Ha, hello. Hello. Ha, yes, you are audible now. Please go okay, ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, since so, uh, I think uh, okay, there are a lot of questions. so like i told this can work on word so uh, there was a questions asking it as if you are working in a different group then what about the similarity of the content yes but if you are working in a drive then this problem will not come and one more thing if you what i meant is see if you are working in a group i told see the person a might have xyz kind of article and a person b might have jkl kind of article so what happens now you can all put it in a same place okay so that the next person will not have to come back to the same article and it will be very easy to access for everybody okay uh yes it is quite similar to mendeley so i think i have showed how to work with bibliography hello okay so which reference style used for phd thesis so mostly uh, they will uh, you know ask you to do for vancouver so vancouver is a mostly preferred style for thesis so references any image like i told you maybe my uh, you know mic was uh, muted but like i told see in the world health organization when i saved it to zotero it was not an article it just created a snapshot of it and when you save it it will come like this see the particular information okay okay next question Yeah, yes as i told it is definitely more than uh, 350 and uh, 350 articles so there is a particular storage you know uh, storage uh, that is meant for zotero yes see when the content is similar there is an option called as duplication right where you can see the duplicate 
so you can avoid that see or is all this again you can what happens again it is a error when you duplicate then finally you can just add a reference bibliography hello ma'am yes yes ma'am for farm the thesis if we add any images do we have to reference it in the bibliography or do we add a image courtesy right next to it uh image courtesy that image you get to yes and is apa style there in zotero yes there is apa style present in zotero there are a uh, wide varieties of uh, styles present in zotero so uh Z zotero holds up to 300 mb so it will uh, hold many of your articles since your all your articles will be present in a very short uh, you know very small sizes so it can hold a uh, many articles maybe uh, sometimes books and all it, there is a problem but then again i told you mendeley can have a better storage compared to zotero so maybe once uh, we can have a session on mendeley as well how it works you know any other questions ma'am same doubt about the image uh, if we uh, add image courtesy do we have to reference it again in the bibliography or separately no no mega <clears throat> i'd like to answer this question no need to uh, go to the references no need to keep in the references because you can just keep the name of the author and the year uh, you know according to that in the courtesy only image courtesy only Okay sir thank you Yes any other questions guys please ask Okay so i was working on endnote before so is it possible to move those files from endnote to uh, zotero Uh, so uh, there is a particular option maybe you can uh, transfer yes see sometimes you can uh, transfer a particular attached uri or you can just uh, you know uh, download what information you have in a end node and then you know just drag and paste it here that is how you can do that all right any other queries please ask your queries guys if you have any kind of queries please ask you can open your mic also you can write in the chat box as well i hope you understood the things ma'am good afternoon ma'am good afternoon ma'am from which version of ms word uh, this jotera is applicable uh it is applicable for all the version i believe uh, which uh, version are you working on uh, 365 okay ma'am yes yes fine thank you yeah <clears throat> okay ma'am can you please explain once or more once okay explain it once more okay or to cite a sentence with two references okay so uh, okay somebody is asking me to uh, show once again to cite a sentence with a two references okay so now here i will take this an example okay so this is a small sentence here so you have you already have one citation now i'm going to cite one more article okay see or if you just next to it but give a space okay you can't see if you press on that particular and if you go to i add you know add citation that particular article will come up so of what you cited give a space then go to add a add citation then click on any article you want to cite so you can see how automatically the reference is generated so bibliography is beautifully generated automatically
Yes. Okay. Uh, somebody wants uh, the process to install the Zotero app. So it's a very simple. All you have to do is go to your Chrome, press on new tab, type Zotero, which is already there in my download. Okay. You can download the app which will be downloaded to your drive as well as a Chrome connector, which will be present here, the extension. Okay, I think you guys are clarified with that right now. Yes, any other questions guys? If not, then uh, we'll wind up. Huh. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Any other questions? Anyone? No, it doesn't doesn't uh, check uh, plagiarism. Kind no, of. This is not a plagiarism software. So guys, we'll come up very soon with Mendeley and EndNote as well for all of you. No worry. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Pooja, for the very informative session and uh, hands-on training on Jotero. And thank you, everyone, for... Uh, uh, attending this and thank you very much for uh you know joining us today thank you come yes, up with thank you. thank you everyone thank you thank you guys thank you take care guys take care bye bye and don't forget to register and participate in our conference okay take care sure sure very soon we'll come